So this is Renverto and this is the HVAC, it's my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the mixed air temperature or also it's called the psychrometric uh, lever rule. Lever rule. Alright, so in this video what we're going to see is uh, the explanation plus uh, we're also going to make an example out of it, okay? Alright, let's get into it. So to begin with, we're going to be talking about uh, the formula which is the pretty much called uh, commonly as the lever rule. So let's put in here the lever rule all right lever rule okay so what's the lever rule so what we're going to put in here now is the cfm and the temperature so because this is related to the return air and outside air how they mix and then how the supply temperature ends up being with okay so what we're going to put in here is cfm that's the the formula is going to be cfm1 temperature 1 plus cfm2 temperature 2 and that's going to be equal to let's say CFM let's put X and that's going to be temperature X okay that's the level rule and what does this mean so this side of the equation and the other side of the equation is related to the outside air O air outside air and the other part is going to be the return air R A return air and this is pretty much the supply air temperature supply air S A Okay, so if we want to see this in a graph um, or to better understand this, what we're going to do is like, let's put a horizontal unit. So uh, let's say that this is in the attic, see, and we're going to have in here the air handler unit. Okay, so most commonly named or called as AHU. Okay, for design we always call it HAU, air handler unit. It also could be a furnace, furnace, heat pump, air handler unit, whichever it works, okay. And for this air handler unit, as we know, we have two ducts, two main ducts. The main or plenums, we can call it plenums or ducts. So I'm going to make this a little bit uh, longer. And then that's what we call actually the return air, right? That's RA, return air. And this side, as we know, that's going to be the supply air. Here we go, the supply air. Okay, so what we're, what we're going to be doing in this video is the following, that I'm going to put this in pink because this is interesting. We're going to put this, uh, which is mainly the outside air, okay? So, uh, as we know, every house or every commercial building, residential building, needs to meet out, uh, outside air, which is ventilation. We, it needs ventilation. And this method of ventilation is called supply supply air or fresh air supply and we always need ventilation at any point uh, of any kind or utilizing any method but nowadays the supply air method is the best so when, when we have this as return air which we already have always in the attic and then we have a supply air we have a dedicated duct return uh, a dedicated duct that uh, is mainly uh uh, their main goal is to provide outside air. All right. So now why is this level rule very important? Because this is going to be coming from outside. So what if the temperature outside is going to be like 90 degrees and in here in the return air is 80 degrees? What is the supply air temperature? So that's mainly the video and the calculation that we're going to make. Okay. So what we're going to do now is going to put in here uh, outside air. This is the temperature one. Okay, and then for the return air to come to have the consistency, we're going to keep the colors. The return air is going to be temperature two and the supply air is going to be temperature X. There we go. And um, the level rule is pretty much this. And why is this the formula? Because in the psychrometric chart, what we have is the following. Let's see in the psychrometric chart or you know what in order to make this simple let's make an example because uh, i don't want to be more to make it more complicated but because it's it is it is not actually okay so it's going to be a very easy and quick example and the example is going to be the following say that we have a three ton unit 3.5 ton unit how about that so if we have a 3.5 ton unit and what is the design cfm that we need what is the 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 CFM that we need for the three ton unit. So as we know, for the three ton unit, uh, we're gonna use the rule of thumb, which is one ton, 400 CFM. Right? 
right? 400 CFM. So for a three ton unit, say that this 800 unit is 3.5 ton unit, uh, we're gonna need uh, 100, uh, 1,400 CFM, okay? So that's gonna be the supply air. The supply air is gonna be 1,400 CFM. Of course, the return air is gonna be 1,400 CFM, right? Okay, so we have that, and then it happens that this is gonna be for a house that is uh, 3,000 square feet, see, 3,000 square feet, and this house has three bedrooms, three bedrooms, okay? Three bedrooms. All right, so what's the ventilation for these uh, conditions? Do we have these conditions? Okay, we have a house that is 3,000 square feet, three bedrooms, and the unit that we're installing is a 3.5 ton unit, okay? So what, so if, it's, if this is residential, so if it's a, this, a residential case, in residential, we're talking about the ASHRAE standard, ASHRAE, which we have a video for 62.2 which is pretty much residential. The two means residential, or if it's commercial, 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 we're gonna use the same ASHRAE, standard ASHRAE, to provide proper ventilation, 62.1, okay? So in this case, if since this is residential, we're gonna be using the ASHRAE 62.2. Now, uh, the ASHRAE 62.2, as we saw in another video, uh, we, it indicates that the outside air required is gonna be 0 0.01 times the square feet plus 7.5 number of bedrooms plus one. All right, so this is gonna be as rate 2010, but now what we have is as rate 2013 or 18, but that is 0 0.03. It's different. It's a little bit more, they are as required more ventilation, more CFM for ventilation, but we're gonna use the classic one, which is 0 0.01, all right? So in that case, our outside air needed is gonna be the following, 0 0.01 times the square feet, the square feet is gonna be 3,000, and then plus 7.5, number of bedrooms, as three bedrooms plus one. All right, so if we do the math, what we're going to obtain is that for this house, the minimum required ventilation is 60 CFM, all right? So in other words, uh, what we're gonna put in here in this diagram is I need this. The outside edge is gonna be 60 CFM. That's what we need. Okay, and the supply air actually, how much CFM is the supply air? We said it's a 3.5 ton unit, it's 14. 100 CFM. And since the return is uh, 1400 CFM, the return air is going to be uh, the following um, 1340 CFM. There we go, we have the CFMs. Okay? Now, uh, in order to make this example, we're going to assume that the temperature outside is going to be, say, the, that this summer, or we're going to put this in a different color. Let's put it in green. And then the outside temperature, it happens that it's 85 degrees. It's kind of a little bit hot. See, 85 degrees, assuming, for this example. And then the return temperature is uh, 75. The return air temperature is 75 Fahrenheit. And what, what we're trying to see is, what is the temperature? The supplier temperature. I'm sorry. This supplier temperature is right before I don't want to confuse anyone in this video right before. In other words, I should I should have drawn this way before, before entering the air handle unit. Because once it ha when, once it enters and passes the coil, past the coil is gonna be a temperature of 55 or less, right? Okay, so this supplier temperature, which is the return, but the supplier temperature return in here, uh, in this case, is gonna be 1400. Let's, I, I don't wanna make this more complicated return, uh, but we understand that, right? Okay, so the temperature X, we're gonna put that everything in the, in the formula of the Lebert rule. So let's put that in, uh, in yellow, as we know. So CFM1, which is the outside air temperature, is gonna be 60, 60 times, let's put the temperature one, temperature one is 85, Plus, uh, it, it is also also uh, called the weighted. It's a weighted average. 
and also in some other books this is this level rule is also called let's put in here uh, adiabatic what is adiabatic no heat transfer adiabatic adiabatic mixing of two air streams adiabatic adiabatic mix how about that of two air streams two air streams means outside air and return air okay that's the other name of the lever rule okay so now the cfm2 is going to be equal to 14 1340 and then that's going to be times uh, the temperature of the return and that's going to be uh, uh, 1400 CFM times temperature X. Okay, so by doing so what we're going to obtain is going to be the TX which is the temperature that we want to obtain which is before getting into the air handler unit. So let's do the math if we do that. So 60 times this is going to be equal to 80.40 so actually we're going to do the math uh, very quick right now so if you grab the calculator what we're going to have is the following 70 times this divided by this uh this is actually not really it is not 80.4 it's actually going to be the following 75.43 75.43 Fahrenheit. See? So that is the example of uh, the lever rule. Okay? And uh, what, it, it's not like a big change because the change in here is like um, what we had originally was 75 degrees and now it's 75.43. It's pretty much not such a big change. But when we're, uh, but the reason is because of the percentage of our outside air. What, so what am I saying by that is that let's put in here percentage of outside air is going to be equal to the following. What is the CFM of, C of outside air? Is 60 CFM. 60 CFM out of what? The total is 1400 CFM. So in other words, what we're saying is how much of this CFM, 1400 CFM, is actually outside air? So the percentage of, uh, the, the outside air percentage is going to be the following. Um, let's see. So that's going to be 60 divided by 1400 CFM, and that's going to be equal to 4.3. So that's going to be a low percentage, 4.3% of outside air. So it's, it's low, so the difference is low. But now, but this is in residential, residential. But when we're talking about commercial, this is gonna be a little bit uh, bigger because in commercial we have 10,000 CFM, we have 5,000 CFM, we, the CFM is uh, greater. So then uh, it's gonna make a big change in this uh, temperature, all right? So uh, also what we're saying in this is that, um, this is the ash rate 62.2 and 62.1. Maybe next in the next video we're going to be making another another uh, video about ash rate 62.2. Well, um, another another thing is uh, for this level rule. Uh, the reason that this is um, we have that formula is because of the psychrometric chart. In the psychrometric chart, what we have is the following. In the psychrometric chart, this is the psychrometric chart. And say that we have the classic in here two points, see, point one, point two. And uh, so those are the conditions condition one or condition A, condition B. Okay, so what happens is that in this psychrometric chart, this is linear. Linear. So whenever there are properties that are linear, that, that, that have that behavior, we can always interpolate, extrapolate, and we can always do proportions. This comes from there, from proportions, from that behavior. So this is going to be effective for the dry bulb temperature, dB. This is also going to be effective for uh, wet bulb, for also for um, enthalpy, and everything else P pretty much most of that so let's put in here enthalpy a specific enthalpy or enthalpy then it's going to be for humidity ratio or this linear uh, this level rule complies also with that 
not for relative humidity because relative humidity is pretty much not linear the relative humidity comes like this it's a curve so uh, because this is linear then we're able to make this uh, the level rule possible usually uh, when i'm doing calculations i try to uh, stick to the dry bulb temperature so that way we can make it um, more uh, precise all right the last thing i'm going to do as i'm just going to put this this is outside air outside air and then the other one is going to be return air okay and this is going to be very handy this nomenclature because um, there are some problems that require a, an ERV in which we're going to mix outside air with supply air with exhaust air and everything like that so I'm just putting this nomenclature for the time being supply air all right well, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you find any, any value in those videos, please don't forget to hit the like button, that helps a lot, and also subscribe and share. Alright, thanks so much.